What's up, everybody, and welcome back to Mass Effect 3. We're here with Atticus. Let's get out. Let's start, because we have a few planets that we need to discover and read before we actually get over to investigate a sorry colony. So we have Cynthia. The most temperate planet in the solar system, Cynthia is a terrestrial world with a light atmosphere of nitrogen and argon. A sorry from neighboring Tratagos built mining operations around the southern pole after discovering mountains with veins of iridium and osmium this is going to be all a sorry stuff for sure so you know we never read any of this zosteros the dense atmosphere of nitrogen and carbon monoxide have turned zosteros into a hothouse of enormous windstorms that blow toxic gases non-stop its most valuable deposits are cobalt and polonium, which netted it the number three spot on the list of amazingly poisonous planets on the popular vid show, Your Awesome Galaxy. Your Awesome Galaxy, a video show that goes around showcasing planets. The Reapers appear to have destroyed the camera drones here, as well as any scientific stations the Asari may have maintained. Done. The planet is pretty much done. Adis? The rock and ice planet Adis position was ideal for collecting data and extrasolar activity. According to Star Charge, the Asari had a small VI run system of satellites in geosynchronous orbit with the planet. This system broadcast the first warning that Reapers had come through the mass relay and mangled metal around the planet indicates that the Reapers did not appreciate their presence being advertised. Really? They don't like the propaganda? Hey, the Reapers are here. Oh, fuck that shit. I can't believe they just said that we're here and we're going to destroy them even more than what we already are going to destroy them. Tratagos? Largely frozen ice except for liquid seas at the equator. Tratagos has the coldest winters of any Asari colony, taking it down near the second tier of habitability. Tratagos colonists are a hardy bunch, using the freezing winter months to test whether newcomers have what it takes to carve out a life on the planet. Tratagos colonists are fighting the Reapers in a guerrilla war, their best resource being submarine vehicles that can slip under the sea ice to mask their heat. Unfortunately, these have not proven good tools for taking back population centers from the Reapers. And for now, the colonists have to be satisfied with commando actions to harass their synthetic oppressors. But you gotta figure that it wouldn't be that. It just really wouldn't be that useful. The Reapers can probably just go and see just fine. They would probably be faster in sea than any submarine. And of course, a submarine's just not gonna, it's just not gonna, let's just say it, it's not gonna dodge a Reaper beam. It's not Shepard. <laughs> fucking Shepard just runs back and forth from a Reaper beam. I think a submarine will be a little bit slower. Did we scan around that area back there? I don't think we did. Ania? We can always go back and scan. A rock planet exploited for minerals by robo miners, Pania was named for an ancient mythological Asari hero. Her music was so stirring, the goddess Athene granted Pania anything her heart desired. Different legends reflect the variety of hero cults of the time. In some stories, she became the first ruler of Armali, while others claim that Pania took to the stars with Athene herself. Isn't Liara from Armali? Didn't she say she was from Armali? The RoboMiner's orbital stations here have been destroyed, a number of life pods can be detected, but most are in the red indicating that their oxygen ran out long ago. Damn. Absolutely wrecked. Ithrone? Vast swaths of Ithrone's surface are covered in a thick ash spewed into the air by chains of volcano across the planet. Beneath this layer of soot, Ithrone has an iron core and significant levels of carbon in its crust. I would say it's probably going to be this planet. Demnia? 
Lemnia. As with Pania, Lemnia had mining facilities in orbit remotely controlling machines on the planet's surface to recover Lemnia's highly valued transuranic elements. Unfortunately, the miners made no secret of their presence and to find all traces of them and wipe them out. All the Reapers needed to do was access the extra net. Damn. Let's try here. Let's try here. I found something. Is it just gonna be fuel here? I mean, that's fine if it is. It's just full. Fuel. Evasion full. successful. We have an achievement, Escape a Reaper in the Galaxy Map. Untouchable. We done did that a million times. Should we just go here? We might as well go here and scan around. Signal confirmed. Well, hell, we'll get the fuel anyway. 750 units of fucking fuel. There's a shit ton of stuff here. <laughs> Let's scan. Shall we? This one's gonna be all over this. Lost and found? Wait, what's going on? Why are we getting some random achievements when we've already got this stuff? What's going on? I'm so confused right now. Why we're getting achievements. <laughs> I'm just confused. I don't know. I have noticed that we haven't really got much achievements. Well, let's keep that fuel there. It would probably be it. That would probably be it, wouldn't it? No, because that would have been 75. Technically. Yeah, that's going to be 75. And there's fuel there, too. Okay, we'll just keep that stuff. Reapers eluded. We don't need it. It's so weird that we're getting achievements, friends. I'm so confused right now. Well, that was an upgrade. We should probably go down to Liara for this mission. Look at this planet, Halley. Whoa, what the hell what kind of planet is this? Halley is an orange dwarf star, the cool companion to... Agway, maybe? A yellow-white F-class star that is the primary source of mass and light in a system. It's just a star. It's a dead planet, then. Isn't that what stars are? Carcosa? Carcosa was thought to be naturally occurring hothouse planet until the Asari expedition discovered palatal ruins on its barren surface. Likely the seat of an ancient city, the crumbling edifice dates back more than 2.7 million years. The only intact chamber appears to be a throne room overlooking a large depression believed to have once been an enormous lake. There is evidence that the people of Carcosa polluted their planet until it became uninhabitable, triggering a runaway greenhouse effect and spoiling the planet's freshwater supply. Research into the planet's long history will have to wait. A sorry scientist evacuated when word of the Reaper attack reached the system, leaving behind data drones to explain their findings to anyone who survived. Oh, shit. Was that the only two planets here? Oh, there's one lone one over here. Nargos. Nargos is an icy planet far from the system's twin suns. The star charts indicate that Nargos once orbited the binary star in its figure eight pattern that proved too unstable to maintain. The planet is now hurtling out of the system. Let's try here. Negative. How about here? I found something. Carcosa? There's gonna have to be gas somewhere too, I'd imagine. Down? How much fucking more down can we go? Yeah, we can't go down anymore. So it was ultimately to the right? What the hell is going on? I'm so confused. Library of Asha? Why is this happening? 
It does make me wonder because I don't feel like we were getting achievements the whole time. Maybe it's now triggering them for some freaking reason. I have no idea. 100% here. See you later. Well, we have Masana. That's it. And then we have all the gas that's here. Let's go to Masana. See what's shaking. Laces. We can probably scan away. Because there's a mission here. I can't imagine. The Reapers will come bother us. They let us be when we got missions. I guess they're just nice like that. Valus. Valus is a hydrogen methane ice giant drifting out of the frozen depths. Its orbit hosts rings of rock and ice as well as many moons. All drawn from what would otherwise be a secondary asteroid field similar to Sol's Cooper Belt. Valus is named for a trickster figure in the Asari mythology. A crafty animal called a manol that seduced Asari maidens who then gave birth to a hideously deformed offspring. In the tales, Valus is caught and punished, but they serve as a warning to young Asari not to initiate a bond with anyone they cannot trust. That's quite scary. Lametus. Lametus is a deserted rock planet with a thin atmosphere of carbon dioxide and monoxide. The surface has water ice as well as occasional liquid water near volcanic areas. The planet has abundant supply of zeolites, which the Asari use for water purification as an ingredient in detergent and as a shielding material for disposal of radioactive waste. Wait, they put that in the water? To purify it though? A small colony still maintains the mining equipment. Despite centuries of colonization, the Asari have developed the Metis at a modest pace. The planet shows no sign of resource exhaustion. Capital is Arira. Population is 12,000 and the colony founded in 430 BCE. What's next? Medicos. Metacos is a medium-sized gas giant, although its mass exceeds that of Jupiter. The planet is somewhat denser and thus smaller. A large number of moons, planetesimals, and other detritus orbits, Metacos, as its gravitational pull, has cleared the neighborhood of materials that might otherwise form an asteroid belt. Okay. What is this one? Shastessa. <laughs> These words are... Well, there's something. A hydrogen helium gas giant, Sash Testa. Uh, yeah, got tongue tied there. Say it. Say this word like five times really fast. Sash Testa, Sash Testa. You just can't do it. I can't do it more than twice. Is a twin to its more massive neighbor, Medicos, in more than one sense. The two were named for a semi mythological pair of twins from Asari antiquity who ruled neighboring city states and had a lifelong dialogue about the best form of government. As the legend goes, Sashtessa died before her vision of a democratic republic could be realized. Her sister, Medicos, then took up the cause, sacrificing personal power so that all free landowners in her city would have a voice. Although historians doubt the changes were entirely altruistic, pointing to uprisings and demanding representation, the development was a step towards modern Asari government. And then we got the last one is Lysis. Let's just check down here to make sure. Nothing down here. Okay. We have this Lysis planet. And that's the one we're going to land on. Lysis is an unpopular garden world with characteristics just outside the comfort zone of its Asari population. Its gravity is a little too high. Its disease is a little too virulent, and the soil inhospitable for growing food. Further information is difficult to come by. The Asari government is uncharacteristically silent about Lasis. Normally, a garden world settled so long ago would be highly populated, but little light population can be seen on Lasis' night side. 
Colony founded in 473 BCE and population unknown. Capital Maria. What the hell is this place? Why is it so secret of a place? Let's land. Seriously. We're gonna take Caden for sure. And Liara gave us this mission, so we should probably take Liara as well. This is the one Liara gave us, right? Well, even so, let's just take her. Sure. But I'm pretty sure this is the mission that Liara was giving us. So what are we going to use? I'm thinking we use the Geth Plasma this time. Right? Let's give it a shot. Damage. And then we use... Well, I guess we can use that. Hey, Kaden. You're going to need something, sir. We can give him the particle beam. I'm thinking we give Kaden... See, the Matic is probably what we're going to upgrade. I thought we had... Look, I thought we had the Javix weapon upgraded, but I guess we didn't. We don't have any assault rifle upgraded. So, probably the Matic. I was thinking the Valkyrie, though, on Kaden. Because it's an N7 weapon. We'll give him the Matic because I'm going to use that again at some point. Kaden will give you damage and... Let's give you Pearson mod. Why not? And then pistol you can have... We'll give Kaden... The Eagle. Why not? Damage and power modifier. And Kaden should be good. Shepard is good. Liara is good. Let's go. We can't put any more points in anything right now. Kaden has 52 freaking points. <laughs> Whoa. Kaden, we haven't updated you since the first mission of the whole game. Recharge speed. Damage reduction. Let's do recharge speed for Reeve. Because we are going to be spamming your Reeve, sir. Damage and duration. Six seconds duration. Affecting this against armors and barriers. I'm thinking we should do duration a bit more. Let's do damage and duration. Why not? Just in case we can't actually explode. Say he hits it with Area Reeve and we don't get all of them. It lingers on some of the people long enough so I can just hit him again with the good stuff. We'll do Overload now. Bam, Caden. You got two cool-ass abilities. We'll do Chain Overload. Neural Shock. Incapacitate weaker organics. Why not? Damage against shields and Chain Overload again. <laughs> we'll do Chain Overload again. Why not? Sure. Cryoblast. We can do is barrier. I don't think we're going to use Cryoblast. We might, actually. We might get some... Impact Radius. What was this one? Duration? Yeah, let's do Impact Radius. Cryo Explosion. Increase damage to chilled and frozen targets by 10%. Oh. Decrease movement speed of chilled targets by an additional 20%. No. Let's do this one. Cryo Explosion. Increase damage to chilled and frozen targets by 10%. If he just uses it and chills them. Increase damage to frozen and chill targets by 15%. And it weakens their armor targets by an additional 25. Oh no. That is so good. Holy moly. Aiden, how about I give you some more of this? Recharge speed? Why not? I don't even know what to use with Caden. He's got three really good ones. I kind of want to use Cryoblast. You're literally the jack of all trades, Caden. Biotic explosion, tech explosion, and then... I want to see a frozen explosion. Have we seen anything like that? Could there be a frozen explosion? Frozen explosion. Dig up any information on the mission, Liara? I did, and I now understand why High Command wanted to hide it. We're headed to an Ardat Yakshi monastery. Ardat Yakshi? Like Morinth? Morinth chose to be a killer. These Ardat Yakshi isolated themselves to avoid that. But it doesn't mean they're harmless. Their urge to feed can be powerful. That's why High Command sent in commandos to investigate the monastery's distress signal. Magnified biotics, eh? 
Great. What's our strategy? If there was a chance the Arya Yakshi could break loose, the commandos were to purge the monastery. Purge? You mean destroy? They would have brought heavy explosives with them, yes. Is this, the, is this the place that we've read about then? At some point, I don't remember where, we either read about Arayachi, I'm, sure, I'm pretty sure we did. It was in a second game, obviously. But at some point, we either read about it or Samara told us about it, but there was Arayachi that isolated themselves, basically. I think she said her children were. Was it not? Maybe the Shadow Broker Terminal. I don't know. I'm not sure. Not 100% sure. I know we heard about an isolation place where Ardat Yachi go. Is this necessary? Morinth was dangerous, but are the Ardat Yakshi this big of a threat? Morinth was just hitting her stride. Ardat Yakshi who kill leave behind astronomical body counts. It's why they can never be free, and why they're such a great source of shame to the Asari. That's why High Command won't rest until this place is destroyed. They'd never risk a single Ardat Yakshi getting loose. Can we take it in for a second? What if... Arachni had the power of an Ardat Yauchi. I bet you 100% that their killingness that they do would not be as bad as an Asari with these type of abilities and powers and defections or whatever you call this. Because the Asari are just inherently beautiful. Everyone wants to fucking sleep with an Asari. <laughs> It doesn't matter who you are. We all do, probably, at some point. <laughs> but I'm saying, if if the Arda Yachi was like a Ragni, no one, it just they would have you would have to mind control us. Anyways, bombs are last resort. Neither do we. Well, if there's people here, we can't just discount that they're Arda Yachi. We have to at least save somebody. Because not all of them. I'm. I'm hoping that not all of them are crazy like Morinth, but if there are Ardat Yachi here, we have to try. Don't assume anything. Maybe the Ardat Yachi sent out the distress call. If the Asari want us to destroy this place, I need to know what happened. Agreed. Once we give a report to High Command, they'll stop wasting lives here. Okay. On our way then. We got no fucking rounds. Holy shit. We only got 20 rounds. You think it's gonna work? Ardat Yachi, Ardat Yachi. Oh shit, we got a bunch of reading. Though. Let's read. Is it me reading? Kalani, Ardat Yachi Monastery. A sorry commandos disappeared while answering a distress call sent from the Ardat Yachi Monastery. Investigate the monastery and destroy it if necessary. You think the Reapers are here? Or Cerberus? <laughs> It's either the Reapers or Cerberus, so it's me gonna read to you guys. Why not? Asari Ardat Yachi. Ardat Yachi, Demon of the Night Winds, are Asari suffering from genetic disorder, preventing conventional melding of nervous systems during mating. Instead, Ardat Yachi electrochemically ravage their partner's nervous systems. In extreme cases, leave victims as vegetative invalids or corpses. Asari physiologist. Regard this incapacity for mental fusion as preventing the development of empathy, leading it to a psychopathy there is no known cure. The disorder generally begins in infancy, reaching full pathology during maiden adolescence sexual development. While seductive and sexually driven as other Asari, Ardat Yachi are congenital sterile. These words, I'm just stumbling over every single word in this codex. Not to mention, to be honest, I think we've read this in a second game. Well, I know we did, but let's just read it again. It's for a refresher. Ancient Asari mythology held Ardat Yauchi as gods of destruction, depicting them as villains of countless legends and as the anti-heroes of numerous Asari epics. Contrary to popular belief, Ardat Yauchi are neither extremely rare Around 1% of Asari dwell on the AY spectrum. Nor are they all murderers. Most cultivate and discard countless exploitive or abusive relationships during their legally marginal lives. Despite rumors of Ardat Yachi syndicates by nature, Ardat Yachi are incapable of long-term cooperation. 
as a disproportionately wealthy species, a sorry employ their economic reach and media ownership to hide the AY pathology from the galactic community, placing most art at Yachi in monitored work programs or seclusion. Only the most aggressive cases are sentenced to sanitaria and prisons or to the execution list of Justicars. <laughs> Fucking terrible lives they must have. Seriously, from birth, us are at Yachi or just. <laughs> you gotta feel bad for them. You really do. Hey, Caden, how about you put yours here and a little bit of Reven here? I'm gonna use the. We gotta use this. Understood. We can always jump in and overload a target if they have a shield. But that. We're gonna try. Oh, look at this, though. Pretty beautiful planet for the most part. Is this. Oh. There's heat coming off that shuttle. Someone just used it. Did they land or are they warming it up? Because if they're warming it up, it's turned off now. Somebody probably landed. It could be one of the commandos. Assault Rifle Stability Dampener. Nothing. These look like power cells from the second game. I was thinking we were about to get power cells. I guess I'm just so used to it. Elevator Let disabled. It. To prevent entry or escape, I wonder. Probably a bit of both, Liara. Has to be. <clears throat> well, Liara was necessary for this mission 100%. She gave it to us. It would have been... We probably would have lost out on a lot of dialogue not having her here. She's about as necessary on this one as probably the Eden Prime one. Let's go behind here and sneak. Let's not then. We're stuck. Did you hear that? What Listen. the hell? There's a lot more than one. Yeah, but what the fuck is that? Yep. Fuck this place, I'm out. See you later. Goodbye, Normandy, <laughs> because so. Uh, damn it, I didn't mean to go up the ladder. <laughs> I'm just checking out the ladder structure here. Caden, don't mind me. Making sure it's still good for when we leave this mother effer. When we gotta hightail it out of here. What the hell was that noise? Good. Hey, anybody here? You gonna jump out, you let me know first. Please. Holy. This is where we came in from? Where's it got us going? It doesn't really say it. It's probably just investigate, I'd imagine. A reminder, students are not allowed to visit each other's quarters or to meet in rooms unsupervised by staff. Students are also forbidden from extranet communications without approval by senior staff members. There are no exceptions to the rules. First offenders will have their free time revoked for a month. Further violations will be met with confinement. Our monastery is our shelter. For it to remain that way, we must make sacrifices. If we do this, I have faith we can continue to enjoy the order and peace this place has given us. Matriarch Galay. Like what was that? Stay sharp. Sounded like a mechanical, like a geth. Did it not? Delay. You won't believe what Yan has managed to smuggle in. A copy of Vanya. Meet us after supper in the library. Bring some study work. Real is floor warden tonight, so act natural. We'll be by the East Video Banks. This is gonna be so great. See you there. Oh, and delete this once you listen to it. Not like last time. Wasn't that her daughter's name, Rila? I remember reading on his Saddle Broker ship, it was like Rila. Damn, I don't remember the other one. There was two. It might not even have been Rila. I might just be imagining things. Because, like, automatically on my mind is Samara because she was the one that told us about Ardat Yachi in the first fucking place. But, I don't know what to expect here. But I feel like that might have been the daughter. I Hello? heard something. I, um, tripped. Sorry. <laughs> you fucking klutz! <laughs> Watch yourself, Spectre Alenko, sir! Galazic electronic signature? 
LA's electronic signature. Oh, shit. We forgot to go down to Liara's office and get our upgrade. Well, now we have two upgrades. That's going to be great. Hey, Liara, are you understanding what's going on here? So it's almost like a boot camp. What happens, though? Seriously. What happens when an R. Yalchi and another R. Yalchi mate? Do they kill each other? Is that how it works? There it is again. What the actual fuck? I don't think there's any Arda Yachi here anymore. <laughs> Something's going on. Something's happened. Well, the Reapers are here for one. Oh, no. I have... I, I think I know what's going on. <laughs> if the Reapers are here, then... Computer. To our staff and students, attached is our new daily schedule. Please note that wake-up time has been moved forward 15 minutes. Lord Wardens can download True List later this week. Please see Matriarch Galay or myself if you have any questions or concerns. Sincerely, Superintendent Jethra. Wake up from 5.30 to 5.45 a.m. Breakfast, 5.45 to 6.15. Damn, they wake up and immediately go to breakfast. Wow. It's just like boot camp, friends. Morning meditation, 6.15 to 8 a.m. Study period, 8 a.m. to 10 a.m. Chores, 10 a.m. to 12 p.m. Midday meal, 12 to 12.45 p.m. Classes, 12.45 to 5 p.m. Study period, 5 to 6 p.m. Supper, 6 to 7 p.m. Evening meditation, 7 to 8 p.m. Free period, 8 to 10 p.m. So at 8 to 10 at night, they can do whatever the hell they want, basically. Curfew is 10. Damn, rough life. Every day. You'd get used to it, though. I, I hate to say it. I mean, your body would just get used to it immediately. Not immediately. It would take a little while. Maybe a month. A couple weeks, possibly. But you would definitely get used to it. A oh, sorry, corpse. This was the Commando's captain. It seems they gave their lives fighting the Reapers. This monastery is out of the way. What do the Reapers want with Arda Yakshi? Anything useful? A floor plan marked with the nav point location of a bomb. It's inside the Great Hall. So the Commandos started the purge after all. I can't blame them. Seems drastic. Well, honestly, it doesn't seem drastic because there are Reapers here. And we got some crazy ass screeching going on, so I don't blame them. This place is a lost cause if it's already crawling with Reapers. Let's get to the Great Hall and set off that bomb. Yeah. It seems like it is crawling with Reapers already. And, well. I don't understand why the Reapers would be here though. The Arda Yachi are so few in numbers, what's the point? They're pretty much, uh, just, I don't want to say this, but. I just don't want to say it because it's going to hurt, just saying it, just thinking about it, but the Arda Yachi are basically a lost cause anyway. It's the way they are, just the way the world fucking treats them. They are... Hard situation. <laughs> it's a fucking hard situation because you have to be scared of them. You gotta be cautious of Arda Yachi, you never know. So I guess I understand the caution for sure. They just want to live their lives, most of them probably. But do we think this place is a lost cause? Well, there's no one here at the moment. Don't have us going anywhere specifically. What is looking on? It is a pretty beautiful place, though. Let's be honest. I love snowy stuff. I'm going to look at everything because just want to make sure we're not missing monitors that we need to click on here. Because there were some things at some point where we picked up a quest from like a monitor looking like this. Well, at least that's the bright side. I know I've done said it, this place is beautiful. That's the bright side of this place in general, is that the Arda Yachi do have a quite a pleasant place to live at. Though the internal strife, or the internal part of it all, might not be pleasant for them. But ultimately, I guess it is better than death.
Very good. I almost didn't hear you. <laughs> Samara. It has been some time, Shepard. You are a most welcome sight. The corruption here runs deep. I assume you're here on your own, Justicar. Perhaps for something special? You are correct. Two of my daughters live here, and I have come for them. Unfortunately, the Reapers had already infested this place by the time I arrived. I had a feeling we would see Samara. Are your children a threat? I don't think they are. Did she not say her other children were good? Besides Mor, Mor was like the only one. She's come for her children. But the Reapers infested this place. I still don't understand why the Reapers want this place of all of all places, really. You met me hunting down your other Ardat Yakshi daughter. Are these ones just as dangerous? Faler and Rila have followed the monastery's rules ever since they arrived. They've shown no inclination toward violence. And you're here to save them? They are my responsibility. And it's one that cannot be abandoned, even as our galaxy crumbles. I'm blowing this place up. <laughs> we'll help you search. Yeah, if you're going to look for your daughters, we'll help you search. So her daughters, one, her, one of her daughters was Rila. So we were right about that. But Flair, I definitely don't remember that. Let's go together. Maybe your daughters can tell us why the Reapers hit this place. I suspect they will have much to tell us. It has been centuries since I last saw them. We're out of time. We'll meet again. I will draw these creatures off. What the fuck is that Wait. noise? Let's go. <laughs> We're out of time. Yeah. Some more. Good to see you. <laughs> I'm happy you're here. We've pretty much seen everyone in Mass Effect 2, have we not at this point? Who were we missing? We've seen Kasumi, Zaid, Legion, Thane, Morton, Miranda, Jack, Tally, Garrus, Jacob. We're missing Jacob. We haven't seen Jacob yet. <laughs> Fucking Jake from Space Farm. We haven't seen him. My name is Tashia Pori. I'm wounded. Bad. Give this to my bondmate, Weshra. Asked her to go to the Citadel and tell Weshra I love her. Tell her. Sorry we fought. I was an idiot. Didn't mean any of it, Weshra. What? Want you to have everything of mine, okay? Love you. I love you so. Damn, man. Or a fucking sorry commando. She just came doing her job. Now serves a widow on the Citadel. A dead sorry commando left a message to be delivered to her bondmate, Weshra. Find Weshra on the Citadel and deliver the message. That's terrible. We will grant her last wish. We will definitely turn that to her bondmate. Oh, that's terrible. Well, it's good to see Samara this place again. Is enormous. There must have been thousands of people living here. I haven't seen any survivors. Me neither. And I bet most of them were civilians. I won't know what the hell that sound is, for one. That's a pretty big open area. You think we're going to get into some battle? <laughs> we really are. I really hope her daughters made it. I just do. I don't want to see Samara kill her own daughters again like she had to before in the second game with Morinth. But that was... Well, that could be considered different, I guess. Technically. Look at these spaces here. There's so much little nooks things can be in. What is that? Oh, divine hell. It's something. Holy hell. A banshee. Fuck this. I'm out of here. What the actual fucking creepy? 
<laughs> Look at it. Just. Mm. Oh. It's gonna get us. Fuck, reloading. Let's just run. Friends, look at this thing. Caden. <laughs> okay. Oh my goodness. Is that another one over there? What the actual hell was that? Okay. Look at this weapon, it's so good. And here I thought the adjutants were the most creepiest fucking enemy in this game. So the art at Yashir, these banshees? Wait a second here. You remember that one time? Remember that one time that we were listening to that Asari commando and she was talking about her friend so her eyes are black and she was like the battlefield commander was she a banshee she did say that she wanted to be more than just friends with her but she couldn't because of reasons and it makes sense now that that lady was probably an Arda Yauchi fucking hell so she was a banshee? Jeesh. No wonder that Asari was. Let's do some fucking still floating over here. <laughs> I threw that like 20 minutes ago. Caden, freeze him. That used to be a person. An Asari. What have the Reapers done? They're doing what they do vastly, alright? Just converting. You're not, the sorry is not the only one. Look at the brutes. That was Krogan and Turians. The husks here are humans. Well, we got the Ravengers, the Rachni, just all types of stuff. The adjutants. There's just so much craziness going on here with the Reapers and just they convert whatever they're converting a species into. Holy fucking hell. Fuck reloading. I'm out of here. <laughs> This weapon needs more ammo. I'm actually running out of ammo. I'm... We... I don't know. <laughs> I'm scared now. I'm scared. We should have had another weapon on us. I was so scared that I wasn't even pressing abilities there. Like... What the hell, friends? Should we read about this monstrosity? The Reaper called Harbinger is Banshees are the corrupted Asari often found leading a Reaper strike force. The Reapers create them specifically from Asari with active or latent predispositions to becoming Ardot Yakshi, a rare neurological condition that enhances the Asari's biotic power while causing the immediate death of anyone she mates with. Lumbering as though in constant pain, the emaciated Banshees are surprisingly durable opponents. They are devastating biotics, able to hurl lethal balls of energy and create shock waves as they regenerate. What Alliance military finds most disturbing is the Banshee's ability to spawn her own warp field and seemingly teleport during combat. Although their whales have no apparent physiological effect, the psychological impact is undeniable. When Banshees die, their Ardot Yakshi genetics twist against them causing a biotic implosion to ensure they evade capture. Yep. <laughs> Fucking hell. All right, let me catch my composure here because I know I got to look at these buttons here again and, and press them. <laughs> that was a bit crazy. Mother, you came! As soon as I was able. Shepard, this is Falaire, my youngest. 
She and her sister Rila are Ardat Yakshi. They have Other. been... They have Rila! What? I saw some of those creatures take her into the Great Hall. I've been trying to get there. What are the Reapers doing here? Harvesting us. They're turning us into... Into those... Monsters. Please. You can't let that happen to Rila. The Order at Yauchi are innocent? Well... Come on, Shepard. Some of them have to be. Can't imagine all of them here are just crazy. They're here trying to live a life, I can imagine. The Asari thought the Ardat Yakshi were to blame for the attack. This is our home. Most of us are grateful to be here. The monastery is a place Ardat Yakshi can achieve peace. Valer speaks truthfully, Shepard. I vouch for her words with pride. I believe you. Doesn't change a thing. I believe you. Then we have to find Rila fast. The Great Hall has a bomb in it. A bomb? What, didn't you come to rescue people? We'll try, but we can't leave this place standing, Falaire. You sound like the Commandos. They didn't stop to help anyone. Falaire? I'm sorry. Falaire! The Great Hall. She's looking for Rila. We'll meet you there. Please be swift. We can't do that. Liara can, but me and Caden, well, we'll watch from the sidelines. <laughs> Friends, just look at this monstrosity of a thing. My God. Goodness, the Reapers are absolutely crazy. Well... Fucking hell. <laughs> Valera seems like a nice... She seems nice. I mean, I can understand, this is her home. Shepard's talking about blowing it up. And the Commandos didn't stop to help anyone, she said. So I can see why she may be... You'd need a crowbar to pry those doors open. This place was beautiful before the Reapers came. You think about it, right? Wouldn't biotics be more powerful than a crowbar? You can move things with your mind. You can just pry it open with your mind. A crowbar, you gotta rely on your strength. I would think biotics are more powerful than just your basic brute strength, right? Oh, jeez. Let's keep going, friends. Jethro, this is Galay. I've blocked extranet access. We don't need the students panicking about these Reaper rumors. Still, it will not hurt to tally our supplies. Please bring me an inventory before evening prayer. I'll contact Cessia later tonight to inquire what set the Asari to war. Go in peace. Okay. Gotcha. Reapers are coming here and getting the Ardat Yauchi for their battlefield commanders, basically. They... No. Marauders. Dead and done. Shit. What the hell is in there? Let's throw grenades. <laughs> Good thing we missed. Well... That thing. I'm completely and utterly dumbfounded that we're getting all these things right now. I guess better late than never. So, cycle. Change the loadout. Well, we've seen the Geth Plasma. I really like it a lot. What is this other one? It's another shotgun. Music's so awesome. Disciple. Let's try the Disciple. I'm going to put... It's really... It's really light. Can we do... The 
Punisher. We can. We can do the Blood Pack Punisher and this Disciple. It does a lot of damage, too! Disciple! Oh, we should have read it. That's fine. We can read it later. Liara? I don't think it had any range, though. Fine. Level 60! Does that mean we are completely max level? I love this music. It's so awesome. We can do radius. Force and damage. Which one was the bugged one? Is it reach or radius? I think someone said it was radius. It could be reach. Even so, it don't matter. I guess we'll just use the damage. Because we'll never be able to get up here. We won't be able to get up to this point. We're maxed out. If 60 is the level cap, then we're maxed out. We can start using metagels again, friends. I think. Or did we even use metagels at all this playthrough? I don't think we did. Got it! Affirmative! Ooh. That's a roll. This thing sounds awesome, this weapon here. Let's keep on going. I want to take my time and listen to this music because it's really sick. We might as well look up here. Any more Reapers over here? You know when we go down there, there's going to be another one of them fucking Banshees. Jethra, I had the new girl put in a holding chamber. The Jessicar who brought her to us, Jessicar Bora, said she had trouble convincing the prisoner coming to the monastery was necessary. This may explain why the girl lashes out at her guards. She's lucky Fora wasn't here for that. The Jessicar code would have demanded an execution. I'll question some other Jessicars on the level of conversion Aura's permitted to use by the code. This isn't the first time her captures arrived here terrified out of their wits. But it will certainly be the last. Matriarch LA, she is not playing. That matriarch is not playing. Jethro, I looked over this year's candidates for supervised visits to Thesia. I'm approving everyone but Yanis. She's impulsive, cunning, and worst of all, a romantic. Find me a worse combination to let outside her walls. I find it suspicious she was even nominated. Let's look into that and pray it's not Yanis manipulating another infatuation. I mean, maybe. Possibly is. It's so hard to concentrate reading because this music's so epic. It takes a great deal of time and effort to persuade Thesia's government to let our best students visit their own homeworld. Unless Yanis matures, she won't be among them. I'll sure I'll be best if she doesn't. No. I don't think we need the workbench. No, I don't think we need the workbench. Shall we go down? I think we're still in combat or something. Are we? Yeah, we're still in combat with something. Get out of here. Yeah. We were still in combat. There's one of them things again! Oh, fucking hell. It burns! It stings! We are... There it is, Caden. Oh. This thing got rain. I don't think it does. Watch out, Liara! Liara just got bitch slapped. There it is, Caden. This weapon's not working out too good. Pray and spray, friends. Pray and spray. 
How you doing, Liara? Okay, we need ranged weapons for this one. Which is fine. Like that. We can get the um hold on, Caden. Freeze him. That was great. Hey Liara, I'll get you in one second, alright? got somebody? Yeah. They're flanking us. Okay, okay, okay. Hold on. We got one over here flanking too. How you doing, Kate? You still alive? There he is. Not getting Liara yet. Caden, he's loving life. Where'd you go? Liara! Alright, we gotta change weapons, friends. The Acolyte was... is not really a ranged weapon, I don't think. A ranged shotgun. That is. Yeah. It's fucking definitely not ranged at all. Shall we go to... I'm going to go to the Crusader. And... We just need the Crusader, really. I think we'll be fine. Hey, Crusader, I missed you. Oh, everyone's blocked. Sheesh. That is a pretty tough mission. The Asari, uh, whatever they're called, these Banshees, they just, I don't think cover matters. You're gonna have to fucking run. Pick up sticks and run the hell away and kill them when they're coming at you. Is that the only possible way for them? It seems like it. Holy. Nothing here. I'm kind of worried for your daughters at this point. Well, your other daughter, Samara. Worried about the other Arayachi that are here. I don't really think any of this bodes well. That frozen explosion was so cool. We're gonna have to do more of them. Hey, Liara. Thank you, madam. Ma'am? It doesn't feel right seeing dead soldiers in a monastery. Asari High Command couldn't take a chance with Ardak Yakshi. Something had to be done. Sending commandos with explosives is more damage control than a real plan, Liara. True. In a way. It's most definitely true. Is there nothing else in here? There is. Assault Rifle Precision Scope. It just seems like a lost cause from the beginning in this place. Because could you imagine them Asari Commandos if it's going dark here? Their whole thought process probably going here is one, either Reapers or the Ari Yauchi are rising up. And both doesn't sound good in my eyes. If I was one of the people coming here, I would be... Well, friends, I won't lie. I'd be a bit scared for sure. 100%. What else over here? Okay, just making sure, alright? Fucking hell, this mission's got me scared. I went back to the Crusader. <laughs> I couldn't chance it. These Banshees are something else. Hell, I was thinking about going to a 200% weapon. Bomb. Well, there's a bomb. Hold on. 
medical station? Well, at this There's point... And Valer. I know, but I am afraid Rila is not well. Rila's not one of them yet. She can't be. She just needs to wake up. I didn't want to get too close. I don't want to trigger nothing because I want to go around looting. Look, we didn't get XP for uh, Metagel things. We can still get them, but I guess we're max level at this point. 60. We can start using them. We really can. I still want to keep challenging myself, though. See if we can do this without Metagels. Okay. Mom? I'm just gonna casually sneak in there and set it right off, right while she's sitting on it? Med kit! Why not? Hey, um... I'm just gonna sneak beside you. Hold on, let me just make sure. Go ahead and press a few buttons here, you don't mind? Rila? Uh, Rila, can you hear me? Because they've begun to turn her into one of the Reaper's creatures. I'm sorry. Can we set off that bomb? Not without a detonator. Commandos would have had one. We've got to find it. Later. Yeah, we got some friends. Gonna hurt real bad. What the actual fuck was that? Something hit us with the good stuff. Where's our shields? Is it gonna regen? Probably. Oh! Don't bitch slap me! <laughs> Um, get behind the bomb. <laughs> hey, Samara. Just gotta bury her up. Good. Oh, nobody's abilities are working. They block Leora and Cadence. <laughs> Fucking hell. <laughs> I think I'm stuck. <laughs> oh. Jeez, there you go, Liara. See ya later, ma'am. We got one down. Someone got wrecked. Oh, Liara. Caden, she's scuttling at you. Run. So when she does that, you can't you can't use biotics. You're right in the cheeks. Damn, they keep blocking my shit. They are. Get on up. Run. She just picked her up. <laughs> That's the last one. She just For picked now, her up. Let's get back to that bomb. <laughs> what the fuck? We already she just picked you up. Hold on, let me get ammo. There's gotta be more. You know there is. Sheesh. 
So, I was just... Our primer just wasn't working on them. I was throwing Liara and Caden's abilities like crazy, and they were just blocking it or something? We gotta figure out their tactics here. Because they were kind of just blocking stuff, and Throw was the only one hitting them. Falaire, go! Take the elevator! Rila, what, what are you doing? It's too late for me. There are hundreds coming. Just go! Move! No! Rila! I love you. Rila! Poor kid. Not your slaves. She went out like a boss. Oh, poor girl. She killed them all, though. even time to say goodbye few can break the reaper's hold Rila's will was extraordinary as was her love for you we left her to die Rila made her choice and it has reminded me of what is truly important why I swore I'd lay down my life what is that Falair, the code demands an Ardat Yakshi cannot live outside a monastery that no longer exists. What are you doing? I'm sorry, Shepard. By the Justicar's code, there is only one way to save Falair. Mother, no! My daughters, you were all so. No. Let. Go. What are you doing? Fulfilling the code. By throwing your life away? I won't kill my last daughter. You won't have to. Valer? I'll stay here. Home. No matter what's become of it. Without a proper monastery, I could have left any time. I don't need a building to honor my own code. And if the Reapers return, they won't take me alive. I promise. Then, the code permits you to stay, as you are. Once this war is over, and if I am able, I will visit, as a Justicar should. Maybe your Justicar code should have you strictly watch Falaire. And I mean strictly, as in... Okay, you watch Falaire because, you know, she's an Ardot Yachi and such. I don't feel like Falaire's gonna be a threat at all. But I'm saying this because I want Samara to stay with her daughter. I want you to stay with your daughter. I do. You could stay, Samara. 
It's time to fight? Yeah, you could stay. I'd understand if you wanted to help Falaire rebuild a home here. It must wait now that I can help oppose the Reapers. I'll speak with Falaire, then join your forces. If you'll have me, of course. I'd be honored. The honor is mine, my friend. You coming back to the Normandy? Everything's taken care of down here. Bring in the shuttle. Right, Commander. I'll just follow the smoke. <laughs> yeah. Good call, Steve. <laughs> Fucking hell, man. What did we just do? I read your report, Commander. We had no idea the situation had deteriorated so quickly. That's why I set off the bomb. There were no Ardat Yakshi left. May the Ardat Yakshi find rest. What the Reapers did to them was monstrous. I had another team of commandos headed to the monastery who I can now formally transfer to Admiral Hackett's command. They'll serve you loyally, Commander. Farewell. Thank you, Counselor. Holy, what a mission. Well, we got Samara back. Did we get her back on the Normandy, I hope? We won't know until we go up and about. Maybe she's... Well, I don't even know where she could go. Hold on. Look at the, the map. What's tomorrow going to be on here? Lounge. Garrus and Javik are in the lounge. Oh, we can't, I can't wait to go talk to them. Caden. I don't see Samara. Tally. No, she's not on the Normandy. It must mean, when she said join your forces, it must mean Hackett's people. Damn it. Hackett's stealing all of our crew away. What the hell, friends? What a mission. I didn't really know what to expect going there, and then we just seen the most terrifying enemy in all of Mass Effect as a whole. There's just no other enemy. What's the top three? For me, the top three has to be... It's gotta be that Ardat Yachi. The Banshee. They're the worst. I think... The... Adjutant was... It had the means of being pretty terrifying, but they kind of dropped the ball with how easy they were for biotics. We just destroyed the adjutants. They were just so, like a pushover, in a sense. So I'm going to go back to the second game and say the Scions were pretty fucking terrifying, too. The Brutes are kind of, well, for biotics, just anything with armor is pretty easy. The Banshees are so hard for biotics because it seems like they block biotics. Interesting enough. And the Praetorians, they were pretty terrifying, too. Can we just say that the Husks from Mass Effect 1 were terrifying just because they were so ungodly OP and hard? <laughs> but yeah, that, that was just... I'm happy, look, I'm happy that Falaire got away, but poor Rila, man. Oh, goodness. That poor girl. Extraordinary will for her to just sit there and fight the reaper's compulsion to turn into a banshee or whatever did you see that thing pick her up and then hold her head and then she blew them all up oh such a boss so cool anyways my friends next episode we're going to be doing before we head back to the citadel but next mission we will be doing array x cerberus scientists this should be interesting because it's going to be cerberus people that we may be trying to pick up Looking forward to that. But after that, I'm thinking we'll, we'll obviously go back to the Citadel. And I want to do one more main mission before we do the DLC, Dr. Bryson DLC. Yeah, I'm thinking we do one more main mission. And then we do a DLC. And because that's going to be a nice little diversion after the next main mission. And then I guess we'll just go towards Endgame and then do Shore Leave when it's the point of no return. We'll figure out the point of no return. I don't want any names for these quests because just telling me the names of any of these quests could be spoilers. I just don't want to know anything. But we'll eventually, like I said, we'll do the next main mission and probably do Dr. Bryson's DLC. I think that's a good spot for it. It just feels like it might be a good spot for it. I don't know. It's hard to say when it's your first time, so we'll just take it for what it is and just just wing it. 
that's how we've been doing. But we're going to do this. Wait, where's the N7 reactors? Oh, we still have N7 reactors too. So we have to do that. But the ex Cerberus scientists, and look at the bright side, we're kind of done with all the uh, planet reading as well at this point. So we'll probably just cut into the episode immediately, next episode, talking to people and then heading right off to the Cerberus scientist thing. And then we'll leave the N7 fuel reactors for the last little thing before the next main mission. But anyways, my friends, I'm out of here. Have a good one. Stay safe. See you next time. Take care.